there, welcome, I'm John Patrick. And we're gonna talk about something that's really exciting for people who live and work between Snellville and Stone Mountain. It's called the Highway 78 CID. That's a Community Improvement District. With me is Jimmy Norton. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, thanks, Jimmy. Jimmy's on the board of the Highway 78 CID and is also a local businessman. Correct. Now, you've gotta tell me what a Community Improvement District is first. Well, and just what it is, it's uh, Improvement's our middle name. It's a geographic area of property owners that agree to tax themselves. In our case, it's a small millage rate, five mills on top of their additional property taxes. That money's put into a pool that's managed by board members that come from that geographic area, property mm -hmm. owners, and it's reinvested back in that property. So it's kind of a self-feeding mechanism. And the whole focus is to improve the corridor. Exactly. Now, I, I roughly described it from mm -hmm. Snellville to Stone Mountain. Can mm -hmm. you be a little more specific? Yeah, we're uh, tied at one end by a natural wonder, which is uh, Stone Mountain. We're actually on the Gwinnett County side of 78 there at West Park Place. And you go eastbound approximately seven miles into the city of Snellville, which is my hometown and center of the universe. <laughs> and Snellville is also involved in this. That's correct, <clears throat> as is Gwinnett County, city of Snellville, and you know, just top to bottom. Now, why would a guy like yourself tax yourself mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> figuratively and literally because you're involved mm -hmm. very seriously with this CID? Um, on the figurative side, I guess, let me say this first. I live, work, play, raise kids in Snellville. I've been there all my life. I've got a vested interest in, you know, seeing that this quarter, this artery that feeds our city is, uh, is done properly, and I want to have a hand in that. It's a very important task, terribly important. And this area has grown very rapidly. Mm -hmm. um, what hit, can people see what's happening with the 78 CID already? It's kind of funny. That's, it's probably what they can't see that's happening already. I mean, <laughs> we, uh, we do landscaping and trash pickup. You won't sure. see any trash on 78 to the tune of four tons of trash collected every year, and we've got crews that you know, comb the quarter uh, manicuring it. You won't see crime. We've got uh, off-duty police officers. We hire about 2,500 uh, hours of Gwinnett County off-duty police officer patrol per year, which uh, the businesses love, the residents love, uh, the shoppers love and the criminals hate. We've hardened our community against crime. Um, you won't see the planning and logistics that go into making sure all this project's gonna go quickly and everything's, you know, doves tailed together so there's a, a seamless effort. Um, we've also partnered with the city and the uh, city of Snellville and the development authority to hire an economic, uh, support an economic development director, uh -huh. which will be a shot in the arm for businesses. And we've uh, retained a marketing firm to telegraph the good news of everything that's going on and everything that's forthcoming, so. Well, that's, that's quite a bit, but it's just the beginning, really. Mm -hmm. What kind of projects can people in that area expect for 2007? Um, in 2007, I think the focus is gonna be just on getting the construction started. I mean, we've done all this without turning a teaspoon of dirt first. Um, I think the single focus will make sure that uh, any sort of uh, access issues or traffic issues are addressed so that businesses stay open and things are viable and you know a lot of a lot of that construction is going to be done at off peak hours on the back side of the clock so there's that's going to be our focus not to say that we don't have other projects that will come out interparcel access uh, side streets uh, landscaping that are all probably going to a pedestrian bridge they're all probably going to come out of the chute in late 07 or 08. That's fantastic uh, but now the median is probably putting in a new median is on highway 78 is kind of uh, exciting given that there is a reversible lane there now which some people aren't too excited about. No, this is truly a traffic safety improvement and it will be a safety improvement. Um, what kind of uh, uh, disruption can people expect you know with uh, putting in a media? That's quite a heavy construction uh, burden. Well one of the things they've done to alleviate that is Georgia DOT and our engineers are thinking out of the box. They're going to do this in sections, maybe three or four sections, mm -hmm. whereas one section is completed before another is started. And the net result of that is the construction process will probably shorten by four months. Wow. Which is, yeah, which is very substantial. You save a season from start to finish. You know, a lot of people travel through that area. They work there and they live around it, mm -hmm. but a lot of people travel through it. And technology is involved here, too. I hear something about an intelligent traffic system yes. what's that all about that's something i'm very excited about in layman's terms it takes traffic camera sensors or volume sensors and measures the volume and the speed of the traffic 
that's sent through fiber optic cable to GDOT's uh, Gwinnett, or Gwinnett uh, Department of Transportation mm -hmm. and Georgia Department of Transportation's traffic center, and then the timing for the signals is adjusted. I think the proper term is dynamic signal modification. Ooh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> the end result is uh, backups and stackups are going to be alleviated even during peak hours because signals will be timed so you can just go right through. That's exciting because that's one of the primary ways to get back and forth from Athens, Georgia. This is true, the shortest route and you know a lot of folks stay away from congested areas but that's not going to be the case with us. Well now you can boast a lot of support for the 78 CID. Mm -hmm. It's not just the businesses but even the Congress of the United States has oh, gotten yes. involved. Tell me who's, who's bought into this. Um, Congressman Linder and Isaacson, mm -hmm. or Isaacson and Linder. Senator, I, I, yeah. Senator, I'm sorry, yeah, I can't, can't, can't ever so win okay. on that one. <laughs> um, they have funded us very well, which is a, a great show of support, um, as have uh, Westmoreland, uh, Linder, or uh, Shambliss, and uh, Senator Scott. A lot of people touch the um, quarter, and in a day when transportation dollars are hard to come by, mm -hmm. I mean, it's great the level of funding that they've uh, allowed us to have because they're bought into the project, they like the end result as has Gwinnett County. They've been supportive of us too. Chairman Bannister, Commissioner Boudreaux, and the rest of the commission have all uh, participated in this. Was it, uh, how was it to get that support? Was it difficult? Was it uh, relatively easy given what you're trying to do with that, uh, that whole corridor? I'd like to say it's easy. Um, kudos though to our executive director, Brett Harrell. He's been the point man on, on all uh, dealings with municipalities and government agencies and he's done a great job. You know, it's really nice when you hear Georgia DOT come to a meeting and tell us how excited they are about the project and they've actually raised the scope of it. I think it started out at 16 million, now it's around 24 million dollars. Wow. Yep, large increase. So this is, it's a good investment on their part, I guess. Well, what can uh, people expect to see down the road? What kind of improvements, uh, new development, uh, that kind of thing? Uh, the tangible things that uh, you'll see when you first notice is a, a smooth and quick ride down 78. You'll see plenty of access uh, on the main thoroughfare and with side roads. You'll see inner parcel access. You'll see beautifully landscaped nodes, which might spawn a few garden clubs along the way. Uh, decorative mast arms, lighted street signs, uh, the, um, uh, probably flourishing businesses that you know, are already there now that will even improve and become you know, more viable. It's amazing that you got, what, uh, over 700 uh, businesses to get yes. involved and actually pay their own money to improve the area in which they have their companies. Oh, yes. You know, this part, of the, this part of the county is a great part of the county, low crime. We add over north of a billion dollars to the economy. So it's, you know, it's something that's great right now. We're going to make it even better. So it'd be great for everybody. Oh, yes. Even if you don't live and work there, even if you're just driving to Athens or whatever. That's true, but we'll lay out the welcome mat for those that want to come. Jimmy Norton, thank you very much with the 78 CID. And if you want to find out more about what they're doing there in that corridor between Stone Mountain and Snellville, we'll just go on the Internet, and uh, that's highway78cid.org. Thank you.